Hello and welcome to Miss Catherine's Maturing Beautifully. I'm so excited to finally bring this to fruition. It's only taken me five years, so thank you very much for tuning in and hopefully you can hit subscribe and come back every Sunday and watch a new little tip that hopefully you can trial out for the week. My aim is to help bring some great new beauty tips and hair tips and just well-being and feeling good about ourselves. I mean, most of us at you know, this sort of mature age of whatever it may be, whatever decade, and you know, I know I've gone through menopause and you know, especially the last 12 months, it's been a very sort of up and down time. So I'm really excited to try new things. And one of those is false eyelashes. So the last six months, I've really, really persevered because like most of us, we've gone through that stage of eyelash extensions, love them, but didn't necessarily love the upkeep and the cost. And I went through a stage where unfortunately I had a really bad reaction and rubbed them all out completely and went completely bald. So, and it's taken a long time for them to come back and they've never grown back to where they were originally. Um, I don't wear mascara. I tried lots of different mascaras. I'm still yet to find the, the perfect one to sort of volume um, and thicken them up a little bit. So hence trialing and persevering with the false eyelashes. So what I've done already and I'll sort of skip and come back. So this is just a daytime set that I've already taken off with one of the tools. Um, I do recommend when you peel them off, you actually peel them off with the tool or some tweezers rather than using your fingers because I know when I've done it before I've taken off some of the edging and the, the actual um, hairlines here so I've ripped them so try not to do that because trust me it doesn't work so try and use the tool peel them off and if you can just a really nice thin layer of some adhesive this is the duo brand which I've tried lots of different ones this is the one that dries clear there's also a black and also a gray which i haven't liked as much because i tend to leave a bit of residue and the color on your eyelid so they this one i really really like there's also a sensitive one so i would suggest maybe trialing it before you actually go ahead with it but i'm actually just going to or i sort of already put a, a fine line across these this is actually dried now and all you basically do is it takes about 30 seconds to a minute but basically, this is on the tool here. Take it out of the um, little tube here. The great thing about these is there's actually a brush, which I really like too. Some of them don't have brushes where you squeeze it out. And all you do is you basically just uh, run it across the top of the edge that's curving into your eye lid area. And that's all you do. Just let it sit, sit for, uh, say, probably a minute I would say actually and then what you do then is pick up the tool or you can use your fingers but I do like the tool so pick up the tool as you can see that's the eyelash that already has the adhesive on it pop it down what I tend to like to do I'll just put my hair up in a clip because I find this a bit easier uh, let's just tie that back a little bit oh that's a little bit odd looking that's a bit easier Let's just do that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pop that on. So what I find is easier is because I've got hooded um, eye sockets, which a lot of us do at this age now, being a mature age, is I just pull that and drag that down with my finger on the bottom of your eyelid. And then I just pop it into place with the tool itself. And then I've also got this thinner one, which is like an eye like a tweezer type tool. And then I just press it down with that into place and just that tends to then lock it into that area. And as you can see, it just runs right across from the corner here, right across to the outside edge. I do like the fuller ones, but you don't have to. There are lots of different ones to um, trial and I'll show you those in a minute. And this is the second one. So basically once again, the glue is almost cleared. There's not a lot of residue you can see on that left. So once again, just pop it down in the corner, pull that down 
and then just sit it on there. You can see some of the glue already sitting on that, but as I said, that will clear, that will dry clear as well. So then just push that in, let it sit, test it. I also have a fan that I actually um, will run. I won't run it now because it makes a bit of noise and that helps uh, dry them into place as well. So the beauty of that, as I said, that's a little bit, you can see there's a little bit of glue still on there, but that will dry clear once that dries off. So that's how simple it is. But as I said, I persevered. The first week was a little bit difficult because, you know, they were a bit clunky. It was a little bit awkward. And I had days where I was really frustrated and it just didn't seem to go into place. So um, what I would suggest is even if you maybe tried it on a Saturday and a Sunday, if you were going out for lunch and you had a dinner and maybe even Sunday, you could just try them for the day and then try to get on the Sunday when you've got more time in the morning. The great thing about the eyelashes is, you know, this is a set with different colours, which I'm trying, I'm dying to actually try some of the coloured ones on this one. There's a lot of different styles and thicknesses. This is more of what I would call a daytime one. These are much heavier, more for a really sort of big night out, I guess, if you wanted to. This is something I would probably suggest you start with if it's your first time sort of trialling these. These are what we call sort of like a half one. Then you can put some mascara on and then even um, just put them half on and then you would trial some of your glues. As I, said, I really do like the duo. This is the normal one, but there is also a sensitive eye one. So if you're a little bit sensitive, maybe purchase the sensitive one. And I do like the false eyelashes because I know I've tried some uh, magnetic ones before and I'm always a little bit worried that, you know, they're going to pop off and and sit down here and I'll have a moment where I'm talking to somebody and the next minute you'll have this like, you know, nasty eyelash sort of sitting down here somewhere or <laughs> it'll be sitting up around here flapping around or sitting half on your eye down here somewhere. So the beauty of the adhesive or the glue is that actually they stay in place and when you do take them off at the end of the day, I would suggest once again, either just getting your finger and maybe just lifting it from this corner, not from your inner corner, just lifting it up and peeling it out. And the beauty of it actually has helped me wear a little bit more eye makeup. So you can then just help fix it up a little bit because you've got to remember most of the time we're not looking at people as close as we are in the mirror. I mean, I need magnified mirrors to check everything now because I can't see without my glasses. But the beauty of, um, of these, of course, is, you know, just always step back from the mirror and just double check that, yeah, it looks okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you need to touch up, just, you know, grab your eye pencil. Uh, this is a brown one. And you can just sort of touch up and little any imperfections that may be sitting there. So look, please give it a go. I would love to get some feedback on if you've tried it. Have a look on Shein and eBay. They've got these sort of kits for, you know, uh, around about, say, $10 for a whole pack of different eyelashes. So give it a go. Um, this is uh, posted on New Year's Day so or New Year's Eve Day. So I'm going to wish you all a very happy new year and lots of love and have a very, very wonderful night. And I'm going to post just after this one, actually, my nighttime look, which is going to have bigger lashes. It's a very glam event that I'm going to. So I'll post that directly after here. But thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and happy new year. <laughs> well, happy new year's eve morning. And I'm very excited because I'm going out tonight to a masquerade ball. And I just wanted to quickly show you the eyelashes that I'm wearing tonight, of course, it's a little bit more dramatic and maybe a little bit too much for some people, but tonight will obviously be quite dark. I'll be wearing a mask. It is going to be a silver mask, so hence I'm wearing a bit of a sparkly dress today or this evening, which I'm very excited about. And I've put one eyelash on, as you can see here. So this is this particular one here, which is a sort of heavier, thicker one that I'm using on um, my lashes or my eyes tonight and as you can see it's a little bit heavier and a little bit darker but compared to this one that doesn't have any eyelash on it just gives it a little bit more volume a little bit more sort of thickness and a little bit more of a dramatic look as well 
um, even though I will be wearing something over my face. My lips I've kept quite light with a sort of a light pinky sort of colour because I want my eyes to be a little bit darker. But very excited and can't wait to go out and celebrate the New Year's Eve. Uh, this of course isn't my mask, however, I just found one quickly in my little box of tips and tricks. So it's been a long time since I've worn one, so woohoo! And just a bit of a, a look. Uh, cannot wait to be having a real Shiraz tonight. This is my outfit I'll be wearing. So happy New Year's to all of you. Have a wonderful time. Thanks for watching. And please, as I said, give a little bit of a, you know, cheers to the new year. Try some new eyelashes and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.